gentleman's game here. If you're a single dude, one of the biggest questions that you probably ask yourself is, how much do you balance self-improvement and grinding on your goals with finding Ms. Perfect? Because at the end of the day, we all know how valuable your time is. Matter of fact, with everything crazy that's been happening in the world right now, from European invasions to collapsing currencies, one of the biggest takeaways from all of this is that you never know when your time comes. The only thing that's guaranteed in life is death. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. So if you have the opportunity to live this crazy adventure that all of us are on, you cannot squander it. You cannot take anything for granted, because it's not like you have a second shot at this whole life thing. So with your limited time, how do you effectively spend it if you're trying to be a high value man? Well, I'm going to introduce you guys to a very insightful principle today that might just help you out in answering your question. I call it the growth and maintenance rule. But first, just a word from the sponsors of our video, Tiege Hanley. These guys have really helped me maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process straightforward and uncomplicated. Honestly, it's probably the best skincare system out there for guys like you. I recommend you start with their level 1 system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime. A twice per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 to protect your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. Another great part about Teach Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. They really make the process of achieving great skin amazingly easy. I've been using their products for a while now and it might sound weird, but I look forward to my morning and evening routines because I just feel more confident after using their products. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including 30% off, being able to customize your box, pausing or canceling at any time, and free US shipping. If you're outside the US, they offer low cost shipping to most countries. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get Teach Hanley for 30% off your first box and a free gift. Click that link and get started today if you're ready to up your skincare game and become more attractive. Now back to the video. So I always talk about how guys need to work on themselves if they want to be a dude who kills it in the dating game. But I understand that a lot of times it can be overwhelming. Like I remember when I was 19, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was still a virgin at that age. And I was going through this phase being so fed up with everything that I was absolutely determined to finally become the 2.0 version of myself. I made a list of all these areas of my life to change, getting in shape, studying to get good grades in my class so I can get an accounting job, being more social, having game. I knew I was still low value when it came to these areas. So I went 100% forward with a pedal to the metal approach. I jam packed my schedule with workout and study sessions. I watched hours of self improvement and dating advice content. I scheduled Friday and Saturday nights out with the boys so I could practice conversing with the opposite sex and flirting. I was learning about the stock market, learning how to cook, all these useful life skills. And it's funny because you'd expect for the quality of my life to explode after this focused period, right? Well, actually, the complete opposite happened. What I quickly realized is that even though you might have an infinite desire to level up all areas of your life at once, this simply isn't feasible for most people. Why? Because you have finite energy and finite time. Meaning if you try to overexert yourself, you'll quickly find out that all of a sudden you've spread yourself too thin. You can't juggle all these plates at once. See, if you've never known what it's like before to talk or flirt with a girl, then getting good at that skill alone will require your immersion. That's because building a skill takes significantly much more effort than maintaining that skill once you've already acquired it. You're gonna have to go out there, put yourself in uncomfortable situations, and it's gonna be painful. It's gonna suck. 
but eventually it starts to suck a bit less because either you're not caring as much or because you're genuinely improving in your game. And then the ball gets rolling. This is the growth phase. I'll give you another example of this. Let's just take a look at fitness. When you've been fat your whole life, then getting yourself to actually change those habits, to eat healthy, to commit to a rigid workout regimen, this is going to be a lot harder than actually maintaining those habits once you've gotten the routine down. That's because you don't have to dedicate any extra mental energy to it. You're already comfortable enough with it, and you're proficient at it enough to just maintain your efforts with minimal effort. In other words, it's going to require you to go to the gym five days a week in order to get your dream body. But once you have your dream body, you should honestly be able to maintain it with just three days of dedicated, intense workouts per week. See, understanding how to combine a growth and maintenance phase for different aspects of your life allow you to plan your time and resources a lot better to achieve those results. So this is what I will do personally. I normally choose one specific growth goal across any category of your life, dating, health, career, finances, etc. on a given month. And then for that month, that will be the area that I focus on for growth, meaning I'll fully immerse myself in it. I'll put in the extra effort to craft that skill. So like for example, if this is the month you want to have a growth period for dating, you're going to have to be a little extra with it. You're going to have to go out at least three nights a week. You're going to have to do seemingly silly little challenges like forcing yourself to make small talk with the cashier if you're having bad social anxiety. You're going to have to do some reflection at least once a week and ask yourself, how did this week go? What did I do well? What did I not do well? What can I focus on improving for the next girl I meet? And then with the other areas of your life during this month, the career, the health, fitness, family relationships, you're going to have to put those on maintenance mode, meaning you're not going to necessarily go out of your way to gain massive improvement in those areas of your life. You're going to do what you know works, not necessarily just going through the motions, but more like you're doing what's good enough or slightly better than good enough. Like keep those areas good so that you don't start suffering in those areas, like letting yourself go or getting fired from your job. And then next month, you can choose which area of your life you want to commit to growth while maintaining the other areas in your life. This switching off of growth and maintenance phases is a great way to not overexert yourself and burn yourself out while still being able to achieve all your goals. See, the best strategy is the one that's most sustainable. That's why I don't believe in get-rich-quick schemes or anything that promises you results instantly. Life can be a grind to get to where you want to go. You have to have a clear vision of where that end goal is, but not be too overzealous grinding your way there. Have a plan, a way to improve yourself by taking the right actions, and utilize the growth and maintenance principle. Because once you do, taking control over your own life becomes inevitable. So that's it for the video guys, and let me know in the comments what you think. How can you personally make this rule work for you? What are some goals you want to commit to growth next month in April? And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because I have another banger coming through next week. Peace.